G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. What I'm going to show you today is my sleep system. Now I've been using this, I've adjusted it a little bit with the temperatures changing, but this enables me to be able to set, my, set up and pack away a lot easier, a lot quicker, just as comfortable as any other one I've got apart from the hammocks, and it takes up less space in my pack. Now each of the items I'm going to be using in this video I haven't done, well I've done one of the items I've done a review of but that was a couple of years ago and it was one of one of my uh, worst ones I ever did so soon I'm going to actually do a uh, review of each item I'm using in this setup so now I'm about to head back out on the building track on Thursday so I'll be heading down to Banningup and walking down into Donnelly River with the three days and this is what I'll be using for that section and we are, well it'll be the 2nd of December 2021 when I start the walk so it'll be three days after I'll finish so I'll give you an idea and the temperatures are estimating between 26 degrees centigrade and I think the one day is going to be about 30 31 degrees centigrade so I'll be leaving early in the mornings and walking in the cooler part of the day. And let's get everything out of the way. It's the camera gear. First thing, a Snug Pack Special Forces bivvy. A Sea to Summit Eros Premium Large Pillow. So everything in my pack I'll be using over those three days. Giving it a test out, making sure I've got everything I need, and if I have to add anything, I'll add it when I get home today. And if I don't need it, I'll take it out. The other one is my uh, NeoAir Uberlite from Thermarest. That's my sleep mat, and I'll be trying out the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket, which has got a built-in bug net. The one thing I was going to add to this, I was going to try, I saw on another video, is uh, it carries a silk liner, sleeping bag liner, and puts it over his sleep mat. One, it makes it less noisy, and two, makes it a lot more comfortable to lay on if you've not got your top on, if it's too hot, or it just stops you getting sticky. So I thought that was a good idea. So that's out of the way now. So get this set up and rolled up. First thing, Special Forces bivvy. Now I've used this all winter, I have. And I'll be doing a review on this soon. I just want to use it a few more times going into the summer and see how it acts or how I get on with it in the summer. Weight wise, I think it's about 350 grams. Very, very, very light. So, the next thing I'll be putting in there is my sleep mat, which actually does fit in this uh, the jungle bag as well as myself, but this time it's going to go on the outside of the bag. Bags in one bag so don't lose them. Slide 
Oh, it's that in. This is a regular size sleep mat and as you can see it fits in there nice and comfortably and the busy bag the special forces has got the zip probably about halfway down and in the center that you can do up so if you didn't want a sleeping bag you could just sleep in it just like that on top of your mat if it's wet but warm and next will be the snug pack jungle bag now it's not the lightest it's just slightly heavier than my down top quilt it weighs in at 900 grams and that's in the bag I found when I weighed it. So take it out of the bag, you're going to lose some weight if that's what you're looking at doing. But this works nice because I'll show you quickly why I'm testing this one and hope it works. Flies are getting friendly. One, it could just be stuffed in, you don't have to roll it up and it fits back in the bag. Then inside that one now. So this one, we've got a zip at the bottom and a zip up the side to be opened and used as a blanket. So that's the first positive about this. So let's get that shoved in. They say it's got a comfort rating of about seven, which honestly isn't far off. So I'll do a more in-depth review, I'll set in another video later, solely about this. Now here is what, or why, I'm going to be using it got a built-in bug net in the hood so that means if it works out I don't have to carry the weight of another bug net to go over me so that means at 900 I'm actually saving weight by using this because the actual bug net one person one is heavier than the difference between this and the down and the bug net so it's all just works out better or hopefully it'll work out better. So there's the head end of the sleeping bag with a bug net. So like I said, even though it's slightly heavier, you're going to save weight because you don't have to carry a separate bug net. Because that's the small panel you protected. Thing to go in the set is a pillow. Now, this is the second one I've had of these in this size. The first one I'd used for years and it got nice and comfortable. And the only reason I had to get a new one is I believe the cat went in there and thought it was something to play with, and his claws went through and got through to the bladder inside, so it was no longer airproof or airtight. So I'll put that inside of here. Go and check. No, there's no pillow section in that, but that's okay. That pillow will go in there, deflated. So 
passing it around. And that's my sleep system. And if I get too hot, I can undo the centre zip. You take one of the uh, layers away, or I can let you get out of it completely and just sleep on top of the sleep mat with a sleeping bag. Nice and comfortable. And I always carry some Tyvek. Yeah, this is a little bit too big at the moment, but I've got to cut it down. So I've got a little bit left on the side to put my gear on, and that will be on there, but that weighs next to nothing. Now I did use this over the winter like I said, but the setup was slightly different. The actual sleep mat I had was a self inflating one rated at 4.6 and I had the down uh, top quilting with it which is rated down to minus 7 and using that I had to unzip the bivvy because I just got too warm. But this one unzipping that you'd notice the difference in the temperature by doing it up but your temperature will go up and doing it letting the heat out your temperature will come right down so you can regulate using the system quite nicely. So now rolling it up all in one we'll bring that over to about a third because the pack I'm using is the Helicon Tech Summit, it's 40 litre if you've got a bigger pack, you might get away with just folding this in half and then rolling it up. So get a third over. And then I'll start rolling it. So you think in the morning, by the time you just undone the valve, get the air out of the mats. You can just start rolling this up and in a matter of minutes it'll be back in your pack. So you're looking at this total weight because uh, the sleep mat is 249 grams I think they are and then this 350 so that's going to bring you up to the uh, the 600 say so one point you're looking about the 1.5 one, yeah about 1.5 kilos that's your sleep mat your sleeping bag uh, exit layer of insulation and weatherproofing because the bivvy is waterproof and windproof and your pillow all in there and what I use if there's no room in the shelter let's put up there I'll re-roll that now is I carry a poncho and that can double as a tarp or a wind block or a shade to keep me dry if it rains. If I wanted to drop even more weight that can also be used as a waterproof windproof over the sleeping bag but the bivvy is a lot easier for me to use the way I use it at the moment. Shoe flies, anyway. My line actually is about the same size as the bag. Give it a bit more of a roll again. In there, just nice.
So that's my sleep system and shelter. Just in them there. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you an idea of what you can do to make it easier, quicker or lighter. And if you have and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the, uh, what is it called, the bell? So you, uh, that's notification bell, that's it, my head turned off then. And hit the all and then click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.